Shalom family. Shamar here. All right, so this video is, uh, I guess, somewhat of an update. Um, and kind of shooting forth the ideas out there. So, okay, what is today's day? Today is June the 26th. Um, currently, I am working three days out of the week at McDonald's. Um, as far as the pressure cleaning business goes, I'm only I'm trying to look for jobs now and consolidate my only in presence. But I haven't started my first job yet, so I'm trying to schedule that like very soon. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing some free work now, so I could get some content and get some um, content and and reviews. Let's see. Sitting on about five hundred dollars ish, roughly. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as whether or not I'm good to go, I'm I'm good to go as far as the pressure cleaning business is concerned. Um, but my objective, and this is from my way back earlier on in the year, was to get a vehicle. So, Shelly said that she has a Honda Pilot SUV, and it's not as big as I would like, but I'm, you know, oh shoot, yeah, I'm much more willing to take that than to take the time and have nothing, or, you know, wait a bit longer and 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 maybe a little bit later I'll still get a, a a larger vehicle but I'm not sure but this is what's in front of me now so um yeah she said call it I'm not 100% sure at this point so um 0 to 500 dollars depending on um, what her husband says, it's, it's $500 now, but I'm not 100% sure, so, and then there's logistics of getting the vehicle to my location, so there's that, so, instead of spending around, I don't know, 1500 to $2,000 on an SUV, um, that I would have to, you know, earn or ask for, I could use the 500 I have now to just get the SUV, um, and it's a compact SUV, so it's a bit more, it's a bit limited, but it'll give me the, it'll take that, that goal away, and give me the flexibility to do other things, right, so now I don't, I was planning on going to the Feast of Tabernacles using the SUV that I would get. So if I do that now, I don't have to worry about what's going to go down on the Feast of Tabernacles. So I don't have to worry about saving that money up until the Feast of Tabernacles, which means anything I earn can go towards land and prep. Yeah. Also, um, regarding the video that Dan made earlier, um, I was thinking since it is not convenient to send money by mail or by like a, like digitally, like through like a money transfer, like cash app that I'm, uh, and I'm not 100% sure on how the logistics of this would work, but I think we can I mean, we can talk about it. That um, like someone could make um, and you know I don't really want to get into the banks or anything like that, but it would be the fastest and most convenient way to make like, and I don't know if they have different types of accounts or whatever, but if I if we could just make like an account, 
like one person that is able to do all the transactions very easily to make an account that could get like a card like a like not a credit card but like a debit card and that person can receive all the funds like electronically like through cash app or like through a digital means that's instant and they can charge that card and then that card could be sent like via mail just like with a tracking number like faith s suggests um to robin and then when dan needs something you know or they you know robin needs to get something for the land or whatever the case may be and the family wants to send the um the person who holds the account they can just connect the cash app or the zelle directly to the card so if someone wants to send money they just send it and it goes directly into the account and then Robin um, can use the card and just go to an ATM and pull the funds um, so I was thinking that would be the most convenient way cuz no we don't I don't, I don't want I don't want Dan to do things on his own it just doesn't sit right with me so yeah. That's sad. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Shalom.